I was legitimately surprised in this game. I, I think a lot of people were. I think 80%, 70 to 80% of people that we took polls on for you guys that follow us on Instagram said that the Ravens were going to win. And in my picks, I had the Ravens winning as well. But getting that overtime victory, is this more of a bad performance by the Baltimore Ravens or a good performance by the Raiders? I'm going to lean in and say that it was more of a good performance by the Raiders. I honestly believe that the Raiders could be one of the most surprising teams in the NFL this season. And we could say that every year. You know, they get off to a hot start and then they just kind of fizzle out. I think that's kind of known in John Gruden's career, that one year that he was with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before he got let go. Uh, they were off to a great start. I think they started like 7-3, and 7-2, and two, something like that. And they just kind of fizzled out and missed the NFL playoffs. But I think that the Raiders, this team, something about them is a little bit different this season. Derek Carr, I mean, if we just want to go ahead and go off the stats that he put up, he leads the NFL currently with 435 yards passing. He threw two touchdowns as well. There was one throw that I just did not like, and it was towards the end of the game when he threw an interception, turned the ball over, most crucial moment. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking in that instance. But then he kind of redeemed himself in overtime with that one throw where I don't know what the Baltimore Ravens were thinking, going for an all-out blitz, and then it was re, uh, leaving the receiver open and letting the Raiders score that game-winning touchdown in overtime. Darren Waller, 10 receptions, 105 yards, and one touchdown. 19 targets for Darren Waller. 19. Man. He is going to be the difference maker for this Raiders offense. And if if he gets hurt by any means, this Raiders offense is going to struggle big time. Josh Jacobs, very underrated running back. I have to say underrated. He was a first-round pick, but for some reason, people just continue to write him off. I know that this year, as far as fantasy football goes, I think he's okay, but I don't think he's one of the best running backs that you could have in fantasy football. But I think as far as stat production and winning games in the NFL. Josh Jacobs, he, this young man, he, he's good. He's young. He's talented. He, if he needs to take an every three down role, he has the build for that. And add in Kenyon Drake to take some pressure off of him as well. And then if teams are covering Darren Waller, guess what? You got Henry Ruggs deep. As proven in that game against the Baltimore Ravens, you can hit him deep and you'll be completely fine. So we talked about the offense, but what I really want to hone in on is the defense because this defense could be the difference maker for the Raiders going in into the season. Max Crosby playing like he should have been drafted a little bit higher than just a mid-round pick. Already blowing expectations out of the water. Being drafted in the mid-round a couple years ago and now he's playing like he's a second round pick or so in the NFL. He looks great and he had two sacks against the Baltimore Ravens on top of that. So I like this Raiders team, and I think that two, there's two things that I want to point out that could really help the Raiders. And if they nail these two things down, you could be talking about the Raiders making the playoffs or making a playoff push at least. One, the division. The Chargers and Chiefs, I think it's expected that they're going to be the top two in this division. If they can hold up against them, which they proved last year that they can, almost beating the Chiefs once and then actually beating the Chiefs another time in a 40-32 to 32 victory, then we could talk about the Raiders being in the AFC playoff race. And the Chargers, I mean, we want to go ahead and crown them as the number two spot in the AFC West, but are we ready to do that just yet with the Raiders and the performance that they had against the Ravens? I mean, if this defense is legit, then the hype around Justin Herbert yeah, it's warranted. He's a really good player. But when the Raiders play the Chargers, could they limit Justin Herbert and beat the Chargers? And then the second thing that I think could push the Raiders into an AFC playoff push is that if everyone that they drafted the last couple of years were to come together and actually perform, it could work out. Because the way that the Raiders draft is we don't care what scouts are really saying or what other NFL teams believe like, oh, this is a high draft pick. You overdrafted, you underdrafted. We don't care. We don't care. We're just going to pick whoever we believe on our draft board as the best player available. That's actually the strategy for you guys that uh, play fantasy football that we did, that we wanted to promote on this show is that we had a draft board 
And we were like, okay, this player is worth the talent of a second rounder, while ESPN says that they're the talent of a fourth rounder. Who cares? Who cares what ESPN says? Who cares what your friends say when you draft that player in the second round? I drafted David Montgomery in the second round when he was labeled as a third round, fourth round pick by ESPN. I got, I got some crap for it, but who cares? He's a second round pick on my draft board. And that's how the Raiders op- operate as well. Who cares if Alex Leatherwood is more of a second rounder, late first round, whatever. We're going to take him mid first round because we believe that he is one of the better offensive linemen in this NFL draft. Who cares if Cleveland Farrell is a late first round pick? We're going to take him top four. So far, it hasn't been working out for Cleveland Farrell, but like I said, if they get these draft picks together and turn this team around, we could be talking about the Raiders making the AFC playoffs. So I ask you guys, leave your comments and leave your questions down below. And I ask you guys, do you guys feel like that the Raiders are one of the more legit surprise teams in the NFL? Or do you feel like that, hey, this victory against the Baltimore Ravens, it was just a poor performance by the Ravens, nothing else. And I'm just overhyping it. Leave your comments, your thoughts down below.